Georgie. This is quite an unusual situation. Here we are, Dark Card 3. You got into Manchester early, you've been here since Saturday. We are now, as things stand, on Tuesday afternoon and your opponent has not landed. He's not arrived here and we don't really know what's going on. So I figured we'd, maybe we give him a buzz. See if we can get, if we can actually get Devon on the phone. Yeah. And get a live update. Hopefully he's around. Is he around? Hi, where? Over there? Hey, Dev, is it a good time or should we call you back? It's happening. Is it a good, right? good time to catch you or should we call you back, mate? It's okay now, it's okay. We're just working through shit. We got through. Thank uh, God. We're just getting some food. Right. Uh, we got we got tickets, so... So you're... you're, you're we will see. So you're on the, you've got tickets for a flight at least. We do. We are now uh, through security. Again, the t they, it's not showing up yet. Okay. Like the flight is not showing up. It's uh, some kind of a special flight that they're squeezing in somewhere. But so. Okay. You're still coming into Manchester, though, yeah? We're, we're trying to get some Burger King into us real quick here to power up. Okay. <laughs> but it looks good, Neil. I think we're gonna make it. I think we. I think we are gonna make it. I'm sat here with this guy, Georgie. Oh, look at this guy! Yeah. <laughs> Eat more burgers. <laughs> you need power. <laughs> I need a lot of power. I'm probably gonna need a few extra burgers. Listen, you read a list to Orden, um, and he can WhatsApp over what you need, and we'll go get. I'll go and get that. So, yeah, I think. You know, just some rehydration salts, uh, a little bit of food, because yeah, we're. I mean, we've been, we've been, we've been scrambling here. Just two days to... in an airport, it couldn't get much worse. Two day, two days in a goddamn airport waiting to fly out. That's pretty, pretty poor, mate. Um, <laughs> talk about the highs and lows of the sport fine. of arm wrestling. Jesus Christ! It's gonna be just, just fine. Oh, I know. Listen, let me know when, you, when you're getting on the plane, just let me know what your scheduled time yeah. of arrival it is in Manchester, I will be there. Yeah. When you get there, head okay, to the okay. Radisson Blue. Just go to the Radisson Blue. This is, and this I'll is there. where I do best, Neil. This is actually gonna make me fight even better. Okay. Well, has he got a message for you, Because we're in the middle okay. of the interview Okay, we'll now. see you soon, guys. No worries, brother. Catch you soon. Safe journey, lads. Bye-bye. Jesus Christ. Good news. Well, yeah, it sounds like that's a little worrying that the flight's not up yet again, though, because that's exactly what happened yesterday, if you remember. They got through, they had the ticket, it was 10 a.m., the flight got the flight never showed up, and then they said, oh, it's cancelled. So, I don't know what to say, never been in this situation before. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm panicking. Always, here, always, here we are. Well, always good see. people, always good people, yes. His problems like that. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. These genders who worry monster, they will never miss a fight. Uh, believe me. <laughs> you cannot believe it. So it's incredible. Very difficult preparation for Georgie. Very difficult preparation for Devon. No. Uh, nerve wracking for us because we're here. We've got all the accommodations sorted. All the athletes are here, and the main event guy is still in Turkey. He's had like a highs and lows of arm wrestling experience. He becomes East versus West super heavyweight champion. And now problem with the plane. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. If you out there guys, if you wondered whether it's all plain sailing, that is not the case. <laughs> the flight issues aside. Yeah. Um, do you want to <coughs> chat with Georgie about the match? Yeah. Anyway, I'm coffee fueled, guys. Apologies for that because I've been up most of the night trying to keep an eye on what the fluff is going on. We didn't know whether we were really going to be have to get Devon in the middle of the night or what. Um, but anyway, 
Georgie, obviously you're appreciative of um, Devon's level, but the left arm's very different from his right arm. Let's just get a bit of a breakdown in terms of your residual level, left-handed, right-handed. We know you've been, obviously, at the highest level in the World Arm Wrestling Federation, which is taking place right now. Yes, yes. Um, first of all, why, why arm wars? Why arm wars are in, uh, Dark Art 3? So, uh, when you offered me this match with Devon, uh, when you... When I saw the name Devon Warat and read it, I have to be a main man to refuse this, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a dream match for me. And I chose to come here because it will be maybe one of my greatest matches in my life, my entire career. And uh, I don't have anything to prove in WAF, in World mm -hmm. Championship. And so I decided to, be, to come here and to try to defeat one of the greatest in our sport. Now, your first time here in the Arm Wars Super Series, to be fair, it started probably about as badly as it could in many ways because your opponent isn't here. Outside of that, how have you enjoyed the experience up to now? Do you, the house, the, the format, the layout, is it, is it what you expected? I expected to be not so good because I didn't know what will be everything here, what would be like, but when I see now, everything is perfect. The house, the people, the uh, everything is excellent. Fantastic. I'm the fine. atmosphere is perfect. I feel like I'm home. Mm -hmm. mm, the food is very good. And well, what I will will say is, you're seeing arm wars at its absolute worst. <laughs> Our production director is dying. <laughs> 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 May die. Actually, for those of you who you know wonder that all the work goes in, James is severely not well at this point in time. Yeah. Uh, Not many hours I've got to live. <laughs> it may die, hours. but you know we're going on. But no, genuinely, you're seeing arm wars at its worst. So if you're if you're if this is good at the moment, that's that's a good thing. It's the only problem is the 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 fight with Devon. Yes. everything else is top level. Believe me, I have been to a lot of competitions. The organization, the you all guys are great. You are doing very nice job. I'm just sorry, mate, that um, we, we obviously, you know, we've spoken many times. Uh, we spoke at East versus West when I said that I had aspirations to get you over here because I think you're tailor made for this format. You're perfect for the Arm Wars viewer where we're looking to give sort of a, an expansive view of the, the arm wrestler, the man behind the match, if you will. And um, you're obviously a very articulate guy. You're extremely knowledgeable in the sport. You're a multiple world champion. You're multilingual. It's everything that you need to be able to put that message out there. Um, I'm just sorry that you're sort of getting this uh, experience where you've come over, you've done everything you could possibly do right, you got here early, your preparation has been great, everything is perfect, and then you get here and you're, you don't know whether your opponent's even going to arrive. It's, uh, I think not what everything we do. will be okay, don't worry about that, it's not your fault, just. Uh, problem with the airplane yeah yeah not great nobody wants that you know no not ideal and, we got I, a... and I sorry about Devon because I'm sleeping here resting eating good food you know mm -hmm. he is two days trying to buy tickets to come here you know and it's it's not good before the, a match like this it's not good have you watched Devon's previous left arm matches I mean we did the dark card original dark card uh, Devon came to pull on the right arm. Mm -hmm. The better match, the more, certainly the more entertaining match. I think James, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought it was way better. Than oh, the, yeah, yeah. You know, the, 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 the right arm match was, if anything, a little bit more boring because Do Devon was so dominant. Yes. But on the left arm, it was a screamer. And, and at that time, just to sort of wind the clock back, we were uh, matching Devon at that kind of level. Then. Dark Card 2 came around. Devon was preparing for the match with Gennady Kutvinia mm -hmm. on the right arm. And about a week before, oh, and we'd matched him to the level we saw with Sandras. About a week before, he called me and said, hey, Neil, I'm gonna tell you something weird's happening. My left is incredible. It's like I was in 2010, it's the best it's ever been. It's super strong, guys in training that I usually struggle with I can play I don't feel them so my mm -hmm. left is incredible and he told us after that <coughs> event uh, he sat with myself and James and, and the rest of the crew here and he said I, I feel like this is probably the, my career high on the left arm then it took a step back and it wasn't as good again now when we gave him options on 
my short list of athletes that I wanted, there was a number of guys on there. You were one of them. Tobias Sparong was another one. There was a couple of guys on there that I, that I was keen to get. You were actually top of that list. You were also top of Devon's list. When we and, and Geordie's actually when we when we put that list over, Geordie was like, "Oh, Georgie," and Devon was like, "Yeah, Georgie, Georgie." They have a, he had a, and when I asked why, he said he had a massive amount of respect for you. Uh, they both just like you as a guy. Uh, and, and he said, it's, it's all for me to hear that. I mean, I showed you the messages from Georgie. Yeah, she yeah, said, yeah, we, yeah, we, saw, we, we love Georgie. And, and the one thing Devon said was, oh, now that is a challenge. That's the kind of match that gets me up, you know, that I really want to, I, I don't know how that's going to go. That's a hard, hard match. You've watched a lot of Devon. Did you watch the Arm Wars performances? I watched Arm Wars maybe 30 times <laughs> mm -hmm. and also almost every match on Devon. Not only now, usually I watch every day mm -hmm. how he is uh, prepare, uh, preparing for competition, going to competition, how he trains, everything. So I know everything about him. In terms of your preparation on your left versus your right, to go back to where we started of this, where how do you sort of, in your mind, how does the match play out? You've seen what Devon does well, you know what yeah. you do well. Is it fair to say you don't get top world on either arm, really? No. So I think that um, if everything is good and going for me, mm -hmm. going well for me, I will top roll him. And maybe on three, four, five hits, I will pin him. Okay. I think that this will be the result of the match. but. But I'm not sure because I have never faced him and I don't know how strong he really is up. Yeah. You know, he's, uh, because he has very strong pronation. Yes. His top row is very good. His hand is longer than mine. Mm -hmm. he's, um, he will be a difficult opponent. Do you feel like you'll be the stronger guy in the match, mate? Do you think you're more physically powerful than Devon, particularly at this weight? Physically powerful, I think I'm stronger than him, but you know, uh, he's technical level is above mine and he has two times bigger or three times bigger experience than me mm -hmm. and you know it's uh, it will be very difficult to say what is going to happen. Now we talked a lot about um, privately myself and you and the, and the lads here in the in the dark card house have talked a lot about the whole styles make matches thing. The world was pretty one-sided in some respects in its expectation. I, I, I mean amongst the knowledgeable arm wrestlers in that they felt that Hermes was probably the favourite going into the match at East versus West and we spoke about that and you said well you always had Devon as a winner you felt like Hermes was not a strong what not strong enough in the key areas. We spoke about the comparison uh, with Jerry Cadaret <coughs> the whole match experience with Jerry and the fact that whilst Hermes pulled what I believe was a technically perfect, technically proficient match with Jerry, the main strengths of Hermes would be compromised by what Devon does. The whole styles versus makes matches spectrum, how do you match up in your mind right arm and left arm against Devon? I.e. what you do well, how do you think that works with Devon? Does it, is, it a, is it a good match for you stylistically on either arm? I think that it will be a good match because he will try to top roll me. Mm -hmm. This is my best move on. My my biggest power is concentrated there, and I think that I can do better than Hermes because my hand is bigger. I'm bigger guy, and I think yeah, you're a lot my, bigger guy. I mean, yeah. what is your weight right now? One hundred sixty-two, maybe. One sixty-two, and you're just. I mean, yeah. And forearm is ridiculous. Yeah, and uh, I think that my top row is much stronger than the Hermes. Mm -hmm. and I will give very big trouble to Devon. I have also very big, very, very good hand control and my pronation is very good. Now, we were talking yesterday um, and we went on to one of the uh, Pulse Match Lives. I think you said on there that you have never been top rolled in a super heavyweight match. No. Or even the, the matches against Levon or Pushkar, mm -hmm. who were my main rivals, yep. they pin me, but I will always succeed to take their wrist, their wrist and they pin me with back pressure. Which is with an incredible pressure. record. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, very few, if anybody, can say they've never been top role. Never. You, like, you can see all my matches. I always win, uh, always take the my opponent's wrist. And this includes Pushka? Yeah. You took his wrist? Yes, several times. We have two or three finals with him. I don't remember how much. He was my main rival mm -hmm. on European Championship and also World Championships. What do you think it is, mate? Is it genetic? That your wrist is that strong, or is it something that you've diligently I, worked on? I think that the wrist is genetic because when I went to my first training session, when I started, nobody could take my wrist. Just let everybody know how you sort of came about, how arm wrestling arrived at your doorstep. 2006, uh, one world champion, big champion from Bulgaria, Stoyan Goemanov. Very good puller. Yeah, he's it, yeah. also mm -hmm. top rower, one yep. of the best for me. Very good puller. Uh, he came in to work in my city. Mm -hmm. I was not training anything before that. Yeah. My friends told me, you are strong, you beat all on arm racing, go and try with him. Mm -hmm. So I went to one training uh, when he gripped my hand. He t told me that if I train with him, I will become very big champion. So uh, I was teenager, you know, drinking discos, clubs, girls, yeah, lemons. So <laughs> yeah, so I start training with him, and only for three weeks, mm -hmm. I won my first Bulgarian national championship mm -hmm. for juniors heavyweight class. We were on the final with Krasimir Kostadinov. We were both juniors. I won't defeat him. So you beat Krasi? Yes, on the final, 2006. Oh, no. And also I tried men, 110 kilograms, mm -hmm. and I became champion for men, only 18 years old in Bulgaria. Unbelievable. And you also came to Manchester? Yes, and I, I took third place, yeah. Third Before place. that, in uh, Budapest, Hungary, mm -hmm. yeah. on the European Championship, I took second place, mm -hmm. heavyweight division juniors. So this is the way how I started arm racing. Uh, I like it so much and it was like a fire in me, you know, yeah. a little fame and now it's... And we, <clears throat> we've seen you sort of break out from the sort of shackles of the WAF formal style of arm wrestling, which Bulgaria is heavily invested in, obviously yeah. Hassan Hajitorov yeah. is the president of the World Arm Wrestling Federation. Recently you've started to emerge from that background where you've, like myself, you come, you came through the EAF. WF route into super match arm wrestling. Yeah. Most recently, two supremely prominent matches, Jerry Cataret, which everybody will remember from East versus West. Unbelievable yeah. battle when you ran the then champion to the ragged edge of his existence. I'm just checking if that's Devon. That is Bogdan Stoika. Can you click it on the <coughs> Yeah. No, I didn't because I, I'm, you know what, I'm not. Yeah, you know, no, it's, I'll just keep, just in case it is Devon and I need to get back to him with some info because I've had that before. Uh, sorry about that, guys, but this is, it's not live, but that is live. Uh, okay. So. Meanwhile, Bogdan sent yeah. 500 messages. 500 messages, Bogdan, <laughs> all at once. It's like waiting for a bus when Bogdan Stoika's around. You don't hear anything for three goddamn weeks. And then just as you're doing an interview with Georgie, they all come at once. Now, Number one, the Jerry match. You couldn't have come any closer to pinning that guy in every round. I mean, my God, you were hovering over the bloody pad for the majority of the match. You controlled. Yeah. And I, did you lose most pins on fouls? He, I, he didn't beat me a single time. Mm -hmm. All of his, his wins against me were fouls. And you know, I injured my chest in the second round. Mm -hmm. It cracked. Um, so I was not very confident after that, but I didn't stop. You saw Baba F before me yeah. crack his chest. He stopped. I, I, I wanted to win this match really much, and I knew that I'm stronger and better. I'm poor. Mm -hmm. Everybody saw that I was attacking. He was just defending and yeah. pushing my hand to make fall. Is that a match you'd like to to do again? Maybe here in Arm Wars. Yes, of course. Let's go. Come on, Ginger Dread Man. The broke back mountain. <laughs> get, your, <laughs> get your ass. That'd be a great match. Yeah. Great match. Particularly when you can tell the story of what happened at East versus West. But following that, most recently, Steel Morozov. Now, I think it's fair to say that if you'd have asked the majority of people prior to that match, he would have started as the favourite. You had very 
different opinion of that before the match. I saw you outside the elevators at East versus West. We spoke for a minute, and I said, "Hey, I think you're really in this one because of the strength in the hand and wrist." And you said, "Oh, I'm only in it. How <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna win?" Yeah. You were very, very confident. Very confident there. <coughs> Some people may feel like that was because Morozov had lost weight, documented to have lost about 12 to 15 kilos, depending on who you listen to. Do you think it would make a difference if he was 100% just because of the manner in which that, that match went down? Uh, I think that I was thinking that his hand and his wrist is much stronger, but mm -hmm. I don't think that if he's bigger, it will be uh, any matter for that because I took his wrist very easy. Yeah. And uh, if I compare this match with the match with Jerry, I, wa I was much more prepared because my match with Jerry was during the winter, January. Yeah. It's my work during uh, my winter season. I couldn't prepare very well. I was working every day, training in the night. Yeah. Now it's a totally different story. I rest, I sleep a lot. I trained two, three times a day, and I was very prepared for Morozov. I was going to the World Championship in Kazakhstan, I was training for yeah. there. So I think that I was in much, much better shape. And you took it on a week's notice, was it? The match was on 29th of July. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, on 23rd of July, Engin called me. I just finished my second workout. Yeah. He asked me, uh, George, do you want to pull? Uh, Artyom Morozov because Gennady got injured. So I said yes, I will, and I accepted the challenge. And yeah. in the last minute, I uh, I didn't uh, know about that. If you look at the current crop of the heavyweight division, obviously you, you, we now know that you're about to face the reigning super heavyweight world champion uh, on the right arm. Um, it, there is a chance because we've seen it here before, that you guys end up pulling both arms this week. Yeah. Anything can happen. And I know you want that, you'd love that. Maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't, is that a match you would ask Devon to do here again? It's a dream match for me. Mm -hmm. For right hand, me against Devon. If I beat him, I will prove that maybe one, I'm on the top of the heavyweights now because uh, Artyom Morozov was um, challenger for Levan, the first yeah. one. After Levan uh, uh, injured his wrist, mm -hmm. Gennady, after that, he injured his biceps. It was yeah. me and I was the underdog, but I beat him. And I think that Amash Devon will prove that I'm very, very strong. Let's talk about the other guys in that, in that division. <clears throat> I'm going to throw some names at you. Yeah. You tell me whether you think this is, number one, a match you are a favorite. Mm -hmm. in your mind an underdog in your mind and, and why mm -hmm. Alex Kudetja against me mm. right arm or left hand well, let's go right arm right arm I, I think that I will beat him because he hasn't been pulling for a long time and I think that it will be very difficult for him to come back in very good shape um, and I think that my topo is stronger than him okay it, and left arm I would think that his wave is not so good and I will beat him easy on the left arm. Let's go with Corey West. Both arms. Both arms. I think on the right hand I will beat him because on the last East versus West, Ari Fertem destroyed him on right hand. Mm -hmm. I Ari if I beat him. So I think that on right hand I will beat him with big confidence. Yeah. On left hand, he's very strong. Yeah, I I saw his uh, performance against Fedi Tusmanli. Uh, I think that maybe 60, 70 percent for me. Mm -hmm. I would think that I will top him, and with no, it will be not an easy match, but I will beat him. Georgi Zanov. Mm, this is very strong guy. His left arm is very strong, maybe stronger than the right arm. I think that we are 50-50 there. But on right hand, I think that I will uh, beat him. Because uh, he's also from Kazakhstan and they are now the number one guys, Artyom. He's defeating them 
all very easy. Yeah. So I think that I will beat him. Vitaly Laletin. Interesting oh, one here because top inter- role specialist. Yes, yes. I think it will be a very difficult match for me. On the left arm, I think that maybe he has the bigger chance, maybe 60 40 for him because he is very strong on left, but on right, I think that I will beat him maybe 60 percent for me. It's my opinion that I will top of him, yeah, yeah, and and. <clears throat> Give us a little bit of background on that because one of the guys I'm going to come to in a moment is Rivas Lutidze. We've just seen the, those guys go at it three days ago, and you know how that went down in terms of that first round hit where compromised the wrist. Obviously, Vitali starts with the with the low hand yeah. and pistol grip, but nevertheless, he hung on to his pronation, but the wrist was dumped and he was losing that match there. Do you feel like if Rivas can top roll him? you can do it much easier and secure it much better, control I, it much better. I think that they have much better technique, much better hand control than Revas, much better top row, and my endurance is much, much bigger than Revas. Mm. He, he and we has, saw Vitaly blowing after that match. Yeah, he was blowing in the corner. I told everybody that he, Revas has problem with his endurance. Yeah. He makes 10, 15 seconds push mm-hmm. after that he gets out and he can't pull anymore. The same happened with his match on right hand with Artyom Morozov. Yeah. The first match they made uh, a good match on, on hook. Mm-hmm. After that, he couldn't pull anymore. Zaur Pauzulayev. I think on the left hand, I will defeat him e- easy because his left is not, not so good. On the right hand, I beat him Two years ago, and I think that I will beat him now again. I will top him. He is very strong, very powerful. I think that he is number one in Russia now, mm-hmm. recovering from biceps injury. But I think that I will beat him. Denis Siplenkov. Oh, on the left arm, I think that maybe he will beat me because he is very strong on left. But I have a chance, you know, maybe forty percent. On right hand, I th- think that I will beat him. Now easy, because he's not in so good shape. And mm-hmm. I think that I will take the win against him. Emis Gasparini. Mm, I think that I will beat him on left, because his left is not so good. On right, I think that I will top for him. It will be a very difficult match yeah. for me, because he will push without a wrist. And I will think that I will take the win, the win again here. So if you... <coughs> oh, and Rivas. Which is Rivas. Yeah. Oh, I think that I will stop him and beat him. I will top him and... I will last him. Yeah, yeah. He, he has no endurance. And I think that's probably all of the... Is there anyone I've missed there with my sleep-deprived fat ass? Anyone else of the absolute upper echelon? Lever. He's out. No. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Lavan and, and, and Gennady are out. Can, they are out yeah, because the, Gennady's yeah. going to be out for a year. Yeah, he's, he, he, had, he blew his bicep, didn't he? He has. Uh, Levan told me that uh, he had a surgery. Yeah. I don't know how long. Probably a, you ordinarily a, a year, six oh, months. Oh, yeah. So oh, I don't know with Levan is the answer because I actually don't know how bad his wrist is. Well, it is. Dream match. Yeah, this is my dream match. I think that if I am very well prepared, very very well prepared, with good supplementation, you know mm-hmm. everything. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I have to stop off. Yeah, and I think that I can stop him, and to take his wrist, and it will be massacre. <laughs> yeah, you feel like if you could get some kind of bleed into Levant. Yeah, I think that I have a chance to win. If I'm very prepared, big, strong, mm-hmm. with good supplementation, you know what I'm talking about. I think that I have a chance. Let's talk about that for a moment, because you're one of the guys who has been very against that in many ways. You've been clean for the vast majority of your arm wrestling career. Does it bother you to... to do you feel like if... Let, let's ask it another way. Do you feel like if everybody walks into a place and it's the, there's no use of PEDs, there's nothing, you're all just in there in your normal shape, 
Could you be the best super heavyweight on the, on the planet? I think so, because a lot from these stars which we are talking, if they clean and come to off, it will be a very difficult task for them. Yeah. Because on off we are 30 heavyweights mm -hmm. and you start the competition. You can lose from everybody because yep. if you make one or two difficult matches, mm -hmm. the third one will defeat you. Yeah. And it will be interesting. After this is all said and done, when we have some time on Thursday, Georgie, I'd personally love to go through some stuff on the table with you, uh, learn a little bit of your style. Okay, no problem. Maybe I can pick up some points from my own points, so that'll be, that'll be great. It's a pleasure for me also, <coughs> because we have never played yeah. on table time mm -hmm. with you. That would be, I know people, that I'm sure all the channel members would absolutely love to see that, to get some insight on what is arguably the best top roller in the business right now in the men's super heavyweight division. So that should be really, really good. I want to just again say thanks for taking up the challenge, mate. It's an absolute honour and a pleasure to have you here in the dark card. Neil, I think you're made for it, mate. There was no possibility to say no to this challenge. I know you My want heart wants worlds. My team are there, my friends, my brothers, but this is number one match for me for this year, you know. When you hear Devon Warat, mm -hmm. you have to stop thinking about everything else and focus for him. Now let's do a bit of scenario planning, and I'm going to put this two ways. If you beat Devon Warat on the left arm, let's say you pull right and you beat him, because of the circumstances, would you look to do an immediate rematch? Would you say sort of like, look, we want to? Because I know you mentioned that to me yesterday. Like, even if I beat him, I'd probably want to do it again. Just let people know what you were saying there in that respect. If I beat Devon, yes, and he wants rematch, I will make. I can fight him every month, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> every yeah. month, super match. Every, I will do this. Yeah, it's look. He's the biggest superstar in our sport. He's mm -hmm. like Conor McGregor and Lionel Messi in the yeah. football. You know, he's the most popular. The, what the about best. the rising crop coming up, mate? So let's say another scenario would be. Um, and we'll go to three scenarios actually because I'd like to get your sort of look if I could write my own script um, after Devon this is who I'd pull here uh, in sort of a sliding scale maybe your top three but one I wanted to speak to you about left-handed Tobias Sparong uh, who's I rate very highly yeah he's he's strong guy young guy we know he lost to Levar to uh, uh, Vitali, Vitali yeah but um <coughs> He's, he's young, yeah, explosive, very strong. And he's a big guy, tall yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think How he, do you rate him? Do you... Yeah, I think he's a future star. He's, mm -hmm. He will be very strong one day. Just he needs time to, to practice, to get more powerful, experience also. Yeah, yeah. I think a match with him will be very interesting also. Marcio Barbosa. Who we've just seen have a massive win at the knuckles up. Mm, he's a big legend, you know. Amazing poor, but I think that I will beat him easy. Easy? Both arms? Yeah, because he's not so big now. Mm -hmm. He's not so much kilograms. And I think that the difference between us is very big. Yeah. So let's do it that other way, mate. If you get your, if you could. Let's say you you got a good win here. You pulled Devon, and we yeah. and you also do a rematch, and that works out. If you could then pick your next three opponents in arm wars, who would it, who would it be? And which arm? Mm, maybe right arm Jerry Cadoret to have a rematch with him. Love it. Also Michael Todd. It's also a dream match for me. Oh, that's, that's a good. Yeah. If Mike's fit, Dave Chaffee also if mm -hmm. he's in a good shape. These are That's the thing with Dave. Is he, yeah. it, Dave. Dave is one of those. I'd like to see Dave step back, get some Vitacell Biologics in him. I, I, I think really, that he will get back in very good yeah. shape. He needs just a little time to get um, heal that damage, yeah, which is to obviously heal and to rest a little bit. <coughs> I'd love to uh, see him go down the same route that Devon has yeah. and go. You know, Vitacell try and sort the guy out so he. Um, if you're not familiar with Vitacell Biologics guys, check out what the work those guys are doing. They're an absolute wonder of modern medicine. We've seen the results that they've had with Devon Lara and the genuine regeneration. I myself, I'm going to go over uh, in September, stroke October to Vitacell, see if I can stop having to wear these electrode bands and so on uh, on my wrist. Uh, I'd love to get to a situation where 
that wasn't required and I could actually do something again. But if Dave was to get himself fully healed, that would be a great match. Yes, uh, it, he's a legend. I would mm -hmm. like to pull him. I have never pulled him. And Another guy I want to I bring up here, mate, because I think that, you know, in, in, in the sport there are certain people who are sleeping giants. In fact, another one just popped in my mind. I'm going to go two. One of them, Alijan Muratov. How do you rate that guy? Because we saw him win the WAF. Yeah. In the supers on the left arm. But he's also solid on the right. Where do you put Alijan? Um, we know he challenged Devon. On the right hand, hand, he's not so strong. On the left, he won the Worlds. Mm -hmm. But last year, I had very big injury on my left hand. Mm -hmm. And we, I had very difficult matches. We killed with uh, one guy from Lithuania. Yeah. And after that, Alijan couldn't beat him. Mm -hmm. He and Alijan was on the final okay. with a loss from the another Kazakhstan guy, Boris, Boris Kapchenko. I know him. Boris yeah. defeated Alijan. People think that Alijan was without a loss on the final. Mm -hmm. So I think that he's strong, but he's not strong enough for him for for Devon. Okay, I will demo demo will stop him and. Destroy him. We'll, we'll yeah. destroy him because Sarajan uh, is very fast. He has a hit, but if you stop him, he gets out. Now, another guy who I personally rate extremely high, and we've just seen him make his debut in East versus West, is Matyushenko. One of my favorite armor swords. He's amazing, poor. Bad dude, isn't he? The, the, ba bad the dude. best hooker in the <clears throat> world. I, one of the best hookers in the world. Yeah. In the entire history of uh, arm racing. It's like when you were saying you don't get top rolled. He can pretty much hook anyone at will, yeah. although you have taken his wrist. Uh, yes, we played 2018 mm -hmm. on the World Championship in Turkey, and I top rolled him, but it's very difficult to, to, to beat him. He is, he is very strong. Is he a match that's stylistically more of a concern for you because of, because of that rapid style? On, on right hand, I think that I will beat him, mm -hmm. but on the left hand, Maybe 50 50. Who would win in a match between Ivan Matyushenko and Jerry Calaret? Mm. I don't know. It, 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 it will be. Isn't that a great match? Yeah, very. That's a great match. Very you know? interesting match. I right? like that match a lot. Because it will be in the hook. Mm. Jerry is very powerful there. Ivan is very fast. And Ivan's going to try and set it at yeah. blistering speed. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I cannot say. If mm. Ivan is very, very prepared and, you know, yeah. big, um, I think that he will win because he is faster than Jerry and mm -hmm. his cooking ability is much... Uh, he, would, he will not allow Jerry to use his whole power. Mm -hmm. I think Ivan will, will, will take the, the win. What about Jerry. Yevgeny Prudnik, left-handed, and yourself? Me? Mm. Mm. Yeah, how's that going? Evgeny is very difficult opponent. I don't know his current shape, but I think that I have the chance to win because I'm bigger, with a uh, bigger hand. I will be not a comfortable opponent for him. And right arm, Evgeny? I will, I will beat him. I'm sure that I will beat him. You think right. you'd murder him yeah, on the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah too, too big. He, he is small, he's yeah. one, five, one, ten kilograms. Mm -hmm. Georgie. Exciting times. All we need now is for no limits to arrive yeah. and to walk into this yeah. house. You Let's hope everything will be good. He will come, he will sleep, eat, rest. I want to be a fair match, you know. Fantastic stuff. Ladies and gents, Georgie Svetkov is in Armour's We Can't Wait. Mate, it's on. <laughs>